This year at QuakeCon, we've got a lot of exciting stuff. I think it's uh, the most compelling lineup we've had, at least in my memory, on QuakeCon. And I've been at every one except for the very first one, which was Carmack sitting on a parking lot out in the Texas heat. So at least we have air conditioning this year. And our main struggle right now is just trying to get everybody through the line and in the BYOC and in the air conditioning and, and get everything started up. We've got a, a fully reserved up QuakeCon done quick and select a seat, which is how you get your reserved seat in QuakeCon. That was all sold out. Um, um, and it looks like that uh, the BYOC is going to be completely full, even including the first come first serve attendees probably today. So if you're not here on Thursday, then you may have to wait until next year. The content this year is awesome. We've got the tournaments are back. We've got the Quake Live Dual Masters Championships where Ed and Bethesda are putting up 20 grand for the winners of those. Intel is putting up some money for sort of your, your casual, skilled, everyday player in our open tournaments, both CTF and Dual and Quake Live. And uh, the new for this year, we even have uh, what we're calling a uh, Quick Cup. So sign up 30 minutes before, eight players get chosen out of the hopper and then go for free for all and the winner gets 100 bucks. Got an awesome slate of panels. John's keynote is always uh, a heavily attended and hotly anticipated, uh, what I'd call the, the most informative two hours in gaming. And, uh, you know, just all sorts of fun on tap. Uh, Master can Pancakes back. We've got uh, a poker tournament tonight. And of course, we wrap it all up with the tournament finals and party on Saturday and giveaway. A $58,000 really super fast Shelby GT 500 Ford Mustang 2012 red with the, the white racing stripes. So uh, a lot of excitement on tap over the next 72 hours or so. So Quake Live, we've made a few changes to the way things uh, work with it just recently where uh, instead of the free users getting access to a set number of maps and content and Premium and Pro get the access to all the content is we're going to begin to rotate all the content so even free players will have an access to play all the game types and all the maps. New content still goes to Premium Pro users first and they continue to have access to all of it all the time but we think this will uh, encourage players players who are free players to come back and check what's new from month to month, uh, maybe get some maps that, that are a little underappreciated, a little bit more play time. And uh, I think it also adds value to our premium and pro subscribers because those guys now can invite people to their uh, matches on the start a server uh, option and have you know even premium or, or, or free players come in and play whatever map they want you know uh, whatever the pro map user decides to spin up so uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good thing all around uh, we hope it will stimulate more people to come back and revisit the site often instead of playing the same map over and over again uh, but if that's what you like then you know you can sign up for pro and play whenever you want to and invite your friends to play with you competitors always tell us is is that from a pure sporting standpoint from a, from an esports standpoint is is that Quake Live uh, is the game that they like to play. I think if you if you put it up to a vote is a lot of the players would love to play Quake Live if it got the same attention from sponsorships and from publishers and things like that but again is not a uh, is a game that most of the people play for free it just doesn't sort of have that same sort of financial backing where we've got an incentive to go out and pay a lot of money just to have people sort of play on it even having said that is is that quick live is still you know the choice for what goes on over in europe for dream hat champion uh, of course we like to think of the the, the championships here at uh, at QuakeCon is to me it's like uh, it's like the video game version of the Masters. It may not be the biggest, we may not award the most money, but it's definitely the one that probably instills some of the most pride in anybody when they walk away as the champion. This is not really anyone's game, but obviously kills oh, them that's with brilliant. them, racking them up, and there's some great rockets. For Bethesda and id, we have uh, Two games here, but one is uh, one is brand new, Dishonored, which is developed out of Arcane in Austin. And if people haven't had a chance to check that out, I would highly recommend it. Uh, Harvey and Raph, the guys who are the co-creative uh, directors on that game, are amazing creative minds, uh, have long history in video games, and what they put together with Dishonored, um, it really caught fire at E3, and the booth looks awesome, and I'm really excited about seeing what people are going to say when they get the chance, when the fans, not the industry, gets a chance to play it here at QuakeCon. 
And uh, then uh, a little bit something in the throwback is, is that we've gone back into the Wayback Machine and brought Doom 3 forward into the new era of games. So we've got Doom 3 BFG here at the show as well. And not only is it the, uh, the PC game that everybody remembers with some additional content, plus including the add-on pack Resurrection of Evil, plus Doom and Doom 2 and the classic stuff that if you know this new generation hasn't played, now they'll get a chance to. We've got it on the PS3 and the 360, which it's never made an appearance on before. And of course we have it in 3D, so uh, it's, it, it's something old but something very new. And the implementation uh, is really excellent. We got enormous feedback on the 3D implementation, and of course being able to play it on the consoles for the first time is really going to open up, I think, Doom and, and even the, the old games and even the classic games up to an audience who hasn't had an opportunity to experience it before. We're really excited to, to get that in front of people. And now with the, the frame rate we're running at and the resolution that we've dialed up at is that you put Doom 3 beside even some of the new games, it's, you know, it's like, wow, that game came out in 2004. It's hard to believe that it was, you know, eight years ago. Doom 4 is in development. We are working hard on it. And as soon as we have something to show, you bet you that we are gonna be showing it.